everybody, Matt here from Matt's Movies Music and More, welcoming you to this week's movie review episode. The film I'm going to be talking about today is an 80s cult classic horror movie, which I recently watched for the very first time. The movie I'm talking about is the 1986 horror film Night of the Creeps, directed by Fred Decker and starring Jason Lively and Tom Atkins. Now, this movie... Um, it was, it was a box office flop when it came out. It took less than a million dollars, and yet it cost more than that to make. And it really surprises me, because it's actually a really good movie. Um, I will tell you a bit about the actors and director at the end of the review, but I'll tell you about the movie. Basically, the movie is about 1959. There's this spacecraft where these aliens are chasing another alien on the ship, and the alien happens to have something, um, and... Um, he gets off on the big, big ship onto a little ship, which ends up crashing on Earth, and um, it crashes in 1959. And um, basically, while this guy and girl are making out um, on like the um, the makeout spot, um, they see a falling star, uh, which they assume is a falling star, but they check it out, and they see that um, someone who happens to be around at that time, who is a uh, criminally insane mental patient. This happens to be going on coincidentally to this uh, meteor landing. And um, whilst that's going on, the, the date gets killed by the axe-wielding maniac. And the guy finds a canister and this weird slug thing sort of jumps into his mouth. And then it cuts to 27 years later, which would be 1986. So it becomes a modern day movie. And... Um, it's really funny because you've got these characters in the movie that are actually named after directors. So you have people that are in it like that's named after George A. Romero and David Cronenberg. And there's a, a character that's named after Landis. And then there's uh, James Cameron. So there's quite a few um, characters in this movie. But it's really about um, Chris. Chris and JC. JC is a guy who is disabled, he, when you say disabled, he, um, he uses crutches, and um, I, I don't know if he's got cerebral palsy, but he's the comic relief character in this movie, um, he's constantly making wisecracks, and um, Chris is, he, he likes this girl who happens to spot called Cynthia, and Cynthia, uh, he falls instantly in love with Cynthia, but Cynthia happens to be dating the leader of the, um, the jocks, and so, what he thinks will help win her over is if he joins the jock fraternity and um, they get told that okay the only way you're going to be able to join our fraternity is if you take part in a pledge and they're like okay what's the pledge and they said the pledge is go down to the um, the medical centers mortuary and um, take a body and dump it outside one of the rival fraternity houses so they say okay we'll, we'll, we'll do that then and as they go down there and they go down to the to the mortuary that's on site, they see this weird um, capsule that's sort of against the wall, upright. And it's got this body in there that's basically, if, you, if you've seen it from the beginning of the movie, it's the guy who um, the parasite jumped into the mouth of. And he happens to be in there. And randomly something happens. I think they must press a button or something. And all of a sudden the body is alive and um, it, it starts this whole killing spree that goes on um, in which one of the scientists who happens to come down to the mortuary, who happens to be played actually by the brilliant David Paymer, uh, which was a surprise for me to see him in this, but um, uh, going back to the movie, he gets killed and all of a sudden we have uh, Ray Cameron, who is a detective played by the great Tom Atkins, who you will have known from uh, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, uh, and other John Carpenter movies, The Fog and Escape from New York, and he also appeared in My Bloody Valentine, um, the remake, and Maniac Cop, of course. So as soon as I saw him, I was like, this is great. He's going to be really good in this. But he goes in there and finds out that the guy who happened to have been the one that the parasite jumped into was a guy that when he was a young cop, he happened to have caught the guy making out with the woman who happened to be his ex-girlfriend. So there is a real link to this and he's constantly haunted by the memory of what could he have done to save her and stuff like that. And so the movie basically is about that um, 
whilst this is going on, this parasite is sort of jumping from body to body as well, and lots and lots of these um, these creeps they're called, they're sort of taking over um, people's bodies and making them like zombies. And um, Chris and JC and Cynthia sort of team up to try and take them on along with uh, Detective Cameron. And um, I don't really want to spoil too much for you because I kind of think the less you know, the better it is for you. Um, but regarding this movie, this was a real surprise for me because I'd never seen it before. Um, I'm a big fan of um, a movie that Fred Decker made in 1987 called The Monster Squad, which is a film I hope to talk about on this channel at some point. A great movie. Um, uh, the Monster Squad is one of those films that often gets compared to um, as like a more a fit, uh, like an adult rated version of The Goonies. And to be honest, I would rather watch Monster Squad any day over Goonies. And I know that's very controversial to say, um, but that's what I'm going to say. Um, but with this movie, I, I was really impressed with it. I thought it was a really good film. I thought the ending was very strange. I know that the uh, recent DVD Blu-ray release that's come out in the UK... Um, that has restored the um, the original ending that the director actually wanted rather than the theatrical ending. Um, but I, I really liked this movie. I thought this was really good. I thought the actors did a great job. You felt a lot of sympathy for the, um, the actors involved, especially with um, Tom Atkins, who is one of those guys. He had so many cool lines in this film. Like there's a line where um, they're in the, um, the, uh, the fraternity of the, um, the girls. And he's looking out the window and he's got a cigar in his mouth and he goes, hey, guess what? Your dates are here. And they're like, really? And he goes, yep, they're here, but they're dead. And um, it's just really funny. There's some really cool lines in this movie. And um, Jason Lively, I'd actually seen before in um, National Lampoon's European Vacation, in which he plays Russ. Um, so to see him in this was actually a surprise because this came out literally a year after um, that movie. Um, but... No, I really like Night of the Creeps, and I would suggest if you've got an opportunity to buy it on DVD or Blu-ray, it's one of those horror films that I think you'll watch again and again, and I think it's one of those ones that it's such a shame it was criminally ignored back in the day, but I can see now why it's got a cult following, and it definitely deserves it. It's a really good film. So, yeah, that's Night of the Creeps. So I hope you enjoyed that movie review, and um, if you get a chance to check it out, be sure to leave me a comment and tell me what you think of it because definitely love to hear from you and um, check out all my links in the videos here like and subscribe go to the official facebook instagram twitter check out my other shows on here not just the solo videos but we've got what did you think which i do movie reviews for a special guest as well as um, my uh, friend andrew who does at the movies with andrew which he talks about the latest films um, so we have a bit a lot of ideas coming up on this channel so Thanks very much again, everybody, and uh, we'll see you very soon. All the very best.